Hey Salem, hey Hope Factory, I hope that your Resurrection Easter Sunday has been absolutely phenomenal. I hope that you have made it properly through the pandemic, and I hope that this message reaches you in a good space, in a good place. I've come today to give you a message. Uh, if you could with me, turning your Bibles to Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 24, going to verse 30. Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 24, going to verse 30. We're talking about a Greek woman who comes and she finds Jesus. We're talking about a Greek woman who had a demand of Jesus. We're talking about a Greek woman who was willing to get outside of what was normal in order to get the miracle that she needed. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're dealing with, but I've titled this message today, I'm a dog. The reason why I say that is because this woman was willing, she was crazy to get outside of herself and to reach Jesus wherever he was. And so I put myself in the place of a Greek woman on today. And so as you're reading through this chapter, as you're reading through this beautiful story, you get to see Jesus after a long day of traveling. He's outside of the bounds of normally where a Jewish man would be. Jesus, this great healer, this great miracle worker, our Lord, our Savior, is traveling so that he can get back home in Galilee. However, he's outside of the bounds, like I just said. And so this woman comes and find him, finds him, this Greek woman, and she says unto him, my daughter is demon possessed. I need you, sir, to heal my daughter. And Jesus' response to her desperate uh, a plea to her was this dismissive uh, reply back to her that says, hey, uh, I've only come for the lost sheep of Israel. In this chapter, it says, I haven't come for no dogs. Uh, and she says back to him, hey, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the floor that fall off of the master's table. She has no problem uh, humbling herself before Jesus to get what she needs. She knows that he's outside of the bounds, that, she's in, that he's in her territory. And she knows that in order to get what she needs, that she needs to get desperate and be able to push past any type of discomfort so that she could make her request known. The Bible says that we can humbly come into the courtroom, into the space of Jesus, and we can boldly come and we can ask and make our request known. She lives out this grace, this Greek woman, not even being someone who's a part of Jesus's family, not being his boys, his regular dogs, not being the people who he rolls with normally. She gets to a place where she's like, hey, I know I'm not someone that you would normally help or a Jewish person would normally help, but I need your help. Jesus fulfills her request because of her great faith. But what we learn from this is two points. Number one, Jesus's ministry was out of bounds. And number two, there's no inconvenient request that's too big for him. Number one, Jesus's ministry was out of bounds. What is it about us today? Many people call themselves Christian. Even some people in this country call themselves living in a Christian nation or being Christian politicians or being Christian leaders themselves, that they're unwilling to do things that help the normal person. I think of people like the kids at the border. Why are all those kids locked up in these inconvenient spaces without proper nutrition food, and help and medical services. Why do we say we're a great country when we can't take care of people who are out of bounds? I, I think of people who live uh, on the other side of town. We got town segregated, white and black, and people don't associate with one another, even on Sunday mornings, because they feel like it's out of bounds to do so. I think of dudes, you know, they affiliate with this gang or that gang, and that causes them to live in this uh, hood where they're constantly shooting back, retaliating against one another. And what does that cause? Just more hurt, more bloodshed. Why? Because of boundaries. Jesus showed us that we don't have to be limited. We don't have to be restricted. We don't have to be uh, 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 caught into one space, but that we can get outside of the boundaries of whatever society tells us, our family, our friends, or whatever, and we can show the love that lives deep within us that's able to change the world. And the second one, the in 
convenient request that many times people think is too big. You ever heard someone say, I love to pray to Jesus, but I think he's pretty busy. I would love to ask God something, but man, he's probably got a lot going on. That's almost like insulting God. He was the one who spoke the world into existence. Like in Job 37, he said, hey, look, where were you when I hung the clouds in the sky? Where were you when I carpeted the world with grass? Where were you when I make the snow fall from the sky? Where were you, Job? And so we have to make sure that when we come before God, we understand that he's a great God, that there's nothing too small for him. There's nothing too much for him, that if he could speak our own lives into existence, man, what's a request that we could bring to him that would be something that he cannot do? And so I just want to encourage you. I just want to just want to empower you with this passage to be like the Seraphonician Greek woman who was willing to get out of boundaries to make sure she made a request known to God, to humble yourselves and be like a dog to say, hey, I'm doing whatever it takes. I'm, I'm going to get savage to get to where Jesus is at and make my request known. And more importantly, be willing to do whatever it takes to get to Jesus. One more thing. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube page, Salem Baptist Church of Chicago. Also, make sure you share the video on Facebook. That's at SBCOC Youth Ministry. You can go to that Facebook page and you can see this video and share. Make sure you follow that page also. And last but not least, make sure you go to our Instagram and you follow our Instagram. That's the handle Salem uh, Hope Factory, Salem Hope Factory. You'll be able to find all the videos and information there. And we're so glad that you took the time to be able to watch this video. Thank you.